Four-wheel steer is gonna let me get into those spots that I can't get into right now. We've got an all-electric Chevy Silverado that can go 400 miles on one charge. I'm blown away. I didn't think you could tow 10,000 pounds on an electric truck. But I can. Until a few years ago, there were virtually no possibilities for an electric pickup truck. Due to its size and weight, the pickup truck was one of the last vehicles to be electrified. Because a vehicle of this size is less economical, getting a meaningful range out of it is challenging. However, several electric pickups have joined the market in recent years. In fact, there are so many of them that deciding which one to choose has become tough. Stay tuned to this video to learn why the latest Chevy Silverado EV could be a game changer. After watching this video, you will have all the available knowledge on this EV's cost, the infotainment system, and when to expect it. Hello, YouTube world, and welcome to EV Hub. We deliver the best EV industry contents on time thanks to a ready team of script writers and editors. If you are new here, feel at home by hitting that subscribe button, liking the video, and not forgetting to comment with any doubts or worries. Thank you. There's no need to worry if you want to save money on gasoline, but don't want to give up the power and versatility of your Chevy Silverado. The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV combines the best of both worlds. The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV made its debut at the 2022 CES exhibition, but it won't be available in dealerships until late 2023. The all-electric Silverado, which is based on the same platform as GMC's Hummer EV pickup, is Chevy's answer to the Ford F-150 Lightning. Though it shares its name with Chevrolet's massively popular combustion engine trucks, the Silverado EV is conceptually similar to the Chevrolet Avalanche from the 2000s. The four-door interior of the company's suburban SUV was combined with an integrated cargo bed that could be enlarged by lowering a partition behind the rear seats. The Silverado EV operates in the same manner, but with additional space and adaptability. The divider now has a 60-40 split and can handle things up to 9 feet long when lowered. The Silverado EV, unlike the standard body-on-frame Silverado or the F-150 Lightning, is a unique body car modeled around the Rivian R1T. It, too, is based on a skateboard electric vehicle platform with the batteries hidden beneath the floor. Chevrolet initially claims that the Silverado EV will employ the same two-layer, 24-module Ultium battery pack as the GMC Hummer and will have a range of over 400 miles, far more than Ford or Rivian. According to the carmaker, the truck will have DC rapid charging capabilities of up to 350 kilowatts, allowing for an additional 100 miles of range in 10 minutes. The vehicle can also generate 10.2 kilowatts of power for appliances or a dwelling. In 2024, a smaller battery pack will be available as an alternative. The Silverdoe EV, like other EV trucks, will be equipped with ample power. The work truck will have a standard dual motor, all-wheel drive system that produces 510 horsepower and 615 pound-feet of torque, while the Rally Sport truck has two motors as well as a WOW, short for wide open watts, mode that produces 664 horsepower and 780 pound-feet of torque, as well as a claimed 4.5 second sprint to 60 miles per hour. The work truck will initially have a towing rating of 10,000 pounds, with a 20,000 pound version to follow. It is unknown how towing will impact range. Another possible disadvantage. The Silverdo EV will weigh more than 8,000 pounds, yet have a cargo capacity of only 1,300 pounds. That's less than the price of a Hyundai Santa Cruz. Purchasers can expect a wide range of desired tech options on most trims, as well as a significantly more contemporary and sophisticated cabin than buyers of gas-powered Silverados are accustomed to. All versions will have a largely digital dashboard with a standard 11.0-inch infotainment touchscreen and an 8.0-inch digital gauge display. Upgrading to the top tire RSD unlocks a 17.0-inch infotainment screen as well as an 11.0-inch gauge display. Both systems may be customized to the driver's preferences, but the climate controls, luckily, remain simple analog knobs housed in a small panel on the lower section of the dashboard for easy access. Chevrolet hasn't disclosed all of the details on the Silverado EV's entertainment system, but we anticipate Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to come standard, along with in-dash navigation, Sirius and satellite radio, and an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. 
It will have a trailering capable version of GM's Super Cruise Adaptive Cruise Control System. When can we expect the Silverado EV? The first Silverado EVs will be available in the spring of 2023, but they will only be truck grade versions for fleet customers, with retail sales beginning later in the year. The RSC will hit dealerships in the fall of 2023, with further trim lines following in early 2024. On January 5, 2022, Chevrolet launched reservations for the Silverado EV, and anybody interested may reserve a spot for $100. The first bookings will only be for the Edition 1 RST, which will cost $100. How much will the Chevrolet Silverado EV cost? The Silverado EV will initially be available in two trims, the Bare Bones WT, Work Truck, and the flashy Performance Focus RST, but a variety of vehicles approximately equivalent to the standard Silverado range will follow. With the WT, Chevrolet intends to undercut the Ford F-150 Lightning Pro on the basics with an MSRP of $39,900 before destination costs. If those fees are comparable to the $1,695 price on GMC's Hummer EB pickup, purchasers may anticipate the WT to cost $41,595 without extras. Meanwhile, the RSC will start at $105,000 plus destination costs, $106,695. The car maker claims different trims will be available starting at $50,000, $60,000, $70,000, $80,000 in higher levels, and it has already revealed images of the off-road focused Silverado EV Trail Boss, which looks to have more ground clearance. The LT, LTZ, and high country trim levels offered on the standard Silverado 1500 appear to be a safe bet for 2024 launches. Features for driver assistance and safety. Chevrolet hasn't revealed details on all of the Silverado EV's basic driver assistance technologies, but we've been informed that the brand's hands-free Super Cruise system will be available, at least on the top tire RSC version. Visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHCSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites for more information on the Silverado EV's crash test results. The following are likely key safety features. Automatic emergency braking with pedestrian recognition is standard. Lane departure warning with lane keeping assist is available, as is adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving mode. We'll keep you updated on this when additional information becomes available, including fuel economy and real-world MPG warranty and maintenance coverage. That's all for now on this channel. We'll see you in the next video. If you have an EV you'd like us to discuss, please leave it in the comment section. Stay blessed.